Hi, and welcome to this section of the class where we're going to continue working with fractions. We're going to continue learning how to add and subtract fractions, but this time the problems are going to be a little bit more difficult um, when, in the way that the denominators are set up. So in the previous section we said that in order to add or subtract fractions, the denominator, which is that bottom number, has to be the same. It's the only way you can do it. If they're not the same, we have to do a little bit of work first. It's not going to be hard. We have to do a little bit of work. And so here in this section, we're going to talk about those kinds of problems, and we're going to learn how to do that. So let's go ahead and, like I'd like to start these sections out, draw some pictures, and understand what we're doing. Let's say you have a pie here, okay? And here's half of a pie. We said this is half, one piece out of two possible pieces, okay? Now let's say over here, I want to add something to it. So I'm going to, I'm going to end up adding something here. But what I'm going to add, okay, is not going to be a half. It's going to be one-fourth, okay? One piece out of four possible pieces. Now, the question is, how do you do this? You don't know how to do this because the denominator is not equal. The denominator is not equal, okay? This number is not the same as this number. We said in order to add or subtract fractions, the bottom numbers have to be equal. In this case, they're not equal. So what do you do? Well, I'm going to show you what to do. And it's going to be really cool. It may seem a little bit confusing at first, but I promise you it's going to be, it's going to be better. What we're going to do is we're going to change this problem. Okay? So this was our original problem. Okay? This was our original problem. But what we're going to do is we're going to change the problem a little bit, and we're going to make it so that these bottom numbers are the same. How, how do you think we can do that? Well, let's go ahead and let's change this first, this first fraction a little bit. Just stay with me. I promise you, you will understand this. Okay? This is half of a pie. Okay? And we all know that. We can cut it in half. But let's go ahead and cut it into four pieces instead of in two pieces. And then what if we took this piece away here and uh, this piece away here? Okay? What would we have here? Okay? Well, we would have two pieces out of a possible four pieces. So we would have two out of a possible four pieces. Two out of a possible four pieces. Okay? Now, what if we just left this part the same as in our original problem and we would have one piece here out of a possible four pieces, so this would be one-fourth, one piece out of a possible four pieces. Now I'm asking you the following. I tell you that these two problems are exactly the same, okay? I mean, when you look at it, here I have this much pi, and here I have the same amount of pi. Here I have this much pi, I have the same amount of pi. So in terms of pi, in terms of how much pi is on the table, it's the same, okay? This is the same amount of pi as this, even though the fraction looks a little bit different. And this is exactly what I was telling you before. Fractions can look a little bit different, but they might be the same, and that's why we always simplify things. If you were to try to simplify this fraction, divide the top by 2 and the bottom by 2, you would get 1 half, which is what this fraction is. All I'm telling you is I'm writing this fraction in a different way. The reason I did that, can you guess why I did that? I did it because I want these two bottom numbers to be the same. Then I can add these fractions together. That is the secret to adding fractions. You want to change the problem 